Hi, my name is Dave Rhodes. I live here in Phoenix, Arizona. I am going to go to a place up by Crown King, Arizona, uh, a little bit south of there, a little ghost town called Cleeter, right at the base of the Bradshaw Mountains. Beautiful up there. And what I'm going to do is basically isolate myself from people and uh, temptations and things like that so I can become a better, healthier person. I've investigated places to go to, to help me with my, obviously, uh, weight problem. And when I checked out some things on, on the internet and the yellow pages and things like that, and talking to even a couple doctors, um, the reason I can't do those, number one, is uh, like health resorts and stuff like that are um, very expensive. They're anywhere from two to five thousand dollars per week to go to, and I would need, uh, you know, sixty to, you know, or six months to, who knows how long to, to be in a place like that. So that's the cost is not a, not even an option. And then I looked up fat camps in uh, the internet, and the only people that can go to fat camps apparently are like uh, teenagers, preteens, and and uh, young women, and I'm neither one of them. So I figured the best thing for me to do is just to uh, create my own, my own fat camp. So that's that's what I'm gonna do. I'm I'm gonna be up in uh, I would say is I don't know 3,000, 3,500 feet elevation somewhere. What are you gonna take with you? Well, I'm gonna be living in my truck here. My truck, uh, 76 Ford, three-quarter ton, camper special. Um, and then I'll be living in in the camper, uh, uh, basically just sleeping in it. We, uh, my father, uh, Dave, and a friend of ours, uh, Yorma, uh, yesterday, that was uh, Sunday, the 31st of May, uh, we just framed in a, a box area uh, a, a heavy-duty two-before box to where I can put plyboard across it and then put a bed on top of there so I can sleep. Then uh, I'm gonna have a generator so I can run uh, what's called a CPAP. CPAP is for my sleep apnea so that I don't snore and so I don't basically suffocate while I'm sleeping so to run that and then you know some lights too. And then um, Every two weeks, my Uncle Phil and my father are going to come up and bring me, um, I got these, uh, these six gallon camper, wa these, uh, they're made for campers, they're, they're water containers, they're six gallons, um, and they'll bring me like seven up of those uh, every two weeks, so that'll give me, you know, like three gallons of water a day, you know, for drinking. Um, fresh, you know, pure water. And then they're going to bring me um, two 55 gallon barrels of water for my shower. Um, I've designed a shower to just basically put on the side of my, my camper um, just with a five gallon bucket with a hole drilled in it hooked with a hose and a, a basically a uh, one of those water sprinkler things uh, with a little valve on it. So I figure five gallons of water a day for taking a shower. And then uh, I haven't built it yet, but I'm building a, a little toilet, just box a, just make a box, put a five gallon bucket in the middle of it, and uh, then I'll dig a hole and you know pour the refuse in there, and then put lime on top of that to keep you know the flies and everything down. Um, as far as my food goes. Um, they'll be bringing that up uh, every two weeks and I have other people that are going to come up on the alternate weeks. They're going to bring me fresh uh, fruits and vegetables, uh, carrots, celery, uh, potatoes, uh, oranges, grapefruits, uh, jicama, uh, lettuce. Uh, the only thing that I'll be cooking was basically uh, rice and, and beans, uh, kidney beans because they're, they're fairly low in fat. Um, and the only uh, like nuts or anything like that I'll be having is probably almonds and uh, 
so no no animal products because uh, they're they have saturated fats uh, and they also have uh, excessive protein which I don't need I, I'm I have enough stored protein to last me for a while then as far as my daily activities up there are basically pretty simple uh, the place that I'm staying it's uh, it's an old just by an old uh, like I said a an old ghost town uh, and I'll be staying on a mining claim a friend of mine has and uh, I think it's like 80 something acres for you know a couple mining claims right by these two streams or creeks that come by and uh, I got some work to do over there he's got uh, this mining shaft that needs to be dug out with all this dirt and refuse and stuff so you know a few hours a day do that then I'm um, taking all the um, like classical books you know like the the Hemingway's the Steinbeck's and Salinger and Shakespeare and um, I'm gonna read all those you know a couple hours a day I'll be reading and then I'll be writing too I got a lot of friends that I'll be writing letters to let them know what I'm doing and then um, and I'll do simple I don't know if you remember back in PE and in, in grade school where you just did simple calisthenics you know touch your toes you know stretching just really simple things to um, help my condition you know help help me get to become a fit person um, also um, I'll be taking uh, you know a cell phone uh, so I can be in, in some contact with people I got a CB in the truck already um, cell phone work up there. well this the cell phone my friend thinks that maybe if I uh, maybe hook up like a some wire as an antenna that might work and even if that doesn't work that's okay because I know within a half an hour I can be in service so if something goes wrong I can at least at a half hour I can uh, you know just drive somewhere and then if I can't then this I know that as a crow flies uh, I-17 the, the 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 main uh, federal highway uh, that goes by there is probably 10 miles as a crow flies so a CB will connect that with with an antenna um, also let's uh also, um, I'll tell you what, uh, what we're going to do here real soon is I'm um, leaving, like I said, the 7th. Um, I'll, I'll see you guys up there. And then and, uh, and, uh, John's going to come up uh, and see what my progress is about a week or so. So I'll see you guys then.